Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and we're back on the Genesis community server and today plan is to start with a little bit of base expanding and then I want to move on and try and tame one of the giant turtles. Okay so what I was thinking is about using the circular stairs in this corner and building up a little bridge onto this rock and then I can utilize this space up here. I don't know whether I'm going to use the cliff platforms yet or keep it square. I've got something as a modern build in mind. So I think we'll just stick with the straight edges rather than the cliff platforms. But we'll see as we go along. And we've got an Easter Anki over there. I don't know what level it is. I know the event ends on the 27th of this month. So if you are going to tame any of the funky colored dinosaurs, now's the time to do it. I'll just check level because it's nice colors. Uh, level 90. Nah. But cool. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use the circular stairs in the corner and experiment and see if I can get it going up onto a bridge at the top. And we'll see how that looks. And I guess we'll cut to a little building montage. It's been a while since I've done one of them. Let's do that. Yeah, I'm liking that. But yeah, unfortunately, the cliff platforms are just not working for us. And are you following me? Let's just show you upstairs. So I managed to get the circular stairs covered up. And then we come out onto this bridge, which brings us onto this level. And I was just experimenting with some steps here. But I'm thinking I can build a bigger and higher building off to this side. When I experimented with the round platforms, it just didn't match because it looks kind of modern. So at the moment I've just put a thatch roof on, but this gives me a little bit more space anyway. And I can certainly put a bed down and a couple of vaults. And I need to get the chemistry bench down as well. But yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of happy with it. It's looking a little bit more of a modern build, and I might upgrade to metal at some point. This will give us a lot more room. Let's just come outside and have another look. So yeah, if I get another building off, coming off of that bridge, and I think I'm going to replace the stone pillars or the stone frames there with glass. So it becomes a glass walkway. I think that might look really cool. But we'll save that for another time. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go and head over to the ocean biome. I haven't spent very much time there. But I'm going to have a look around for one of these giant turtles. And I've got a sea platform that I can use. So we do need to set up a little base in the water biome. So we're just going to take my Basilosaurus and go hunting for a sea turtle. Coordinates confirmed. Teleport complete. So just get my Argentavis out and we'll go hunting and we'll be able to see from the sky. And while we're here, I may as well grab some of these glitches. I think that I wish they'd have done it a little bit more like the way Subnautica does these. And instead of reading out whatever the glitch is, if you just saved it. Throughout the Genesis simulation, even though some of the Master AIs are gone, one or more Master AIs must be out there somewhere. 
Still, it's a poser. Why would anyone leave the test intact but try to knock out the master AIs that observe the tests and interpret the results? What's the point of the test if there's no one to see what happened? I would just rather it rather than when you did it, she said something like, oh, new data download, just like on Subnautica, and you could access this in your own time. I've quite often missed some of the important information because something attacks me when I'm opening um, a glitch. Or well, like now. So it's a shame we can't piece them all together. Mostly technical info. It appears that the Arcs use some of the same underlying technology and have a lot of the same dino inhabitants as the Genesis simulation. If I'm reading this right, a lot of the survivors on the Arcs lived and died without realizing they were on orbital space stations with artificial environments. I wonder what they thought. Did they think it was a dream? Time travel? A past life experience? So I suppose that does confirm that we are in a matrix simulation and it isn't part of the arcs simulation stuff. I guess we'll find out next year when they update the map as exactly what the story was with the Genesis simulation. But yeah, it's a shame you can't access those data terminals or just sort of replay them back at a later, st a later time because I'd like to know more. I know I've opened a few of them and there's an evil voice. I don't know if it's the voice of Rockwell or a simulation, but it's, it's pretty cool, but you can only sort of listen to it at the time. And I've missed some of the pieces because, well, it automatically plays it when you open the glitch. So that would be a nice update. Okay, so let's just put Biscuit away. And I've got the Basilosaurus, which is really easy to tame on this server because there's so many of them that hardly any stingrays are attached to any of them. Most of them are running around free and they're just a passive tame. So, um, well, I guess we just jump off this cliff and I don't think there's any rocks, but mind you, if we don't make it, it might be hard to find our stuff. And uh, yeah, no, we're good. See, look, right below us here is a funky looking basilo and that would just be a case of oh no I've thrown biscuit out I meant to throw our basilo and that would just be a case of a passive tame a bit of fish and you've got one so really easy okay so it's taken me ages to get these fish and I find the best way is to actually jump off your mount I'm just gonna go and get some air but you have to drag them up from I'm in the middle of the map, really, and these shoals of fish, you've got to drag them towards the Megachelon and towards their back, and then they start feeding on their back, and that's how you passively tame them. Now, oh, the shark coming. It's just, it's really easy to lose them, and it's very hard to drag them towards the turtles. I've been struggling. Our taming rates are turned up, so I'm just going to move away because I don't want to start eating the fish. Come on, shark. Just want to get rid of it. So there's two over there. One of them's a level 90, and I'm just going to go try and get the level 90 one. Basilos never really do give up much damage, but they are quite tanky. Okay. So, oh, there's two shoals of fish now, right near the top as well, would you believe? So all I should have to do is just sort of swim up to its back and there we go. Hopefully that shoal of fish is now attached. We need to keep an eye out for saber-toothed salmon trying to eat them. And like I say, our rates are slightly increased. Another shark. Hopefully our buslo should just sort it. Yeah, they're staying on the 
Megachelum. We don't want it to get hit. I think it did get hit by the shark and it takes the taming effectiveness down. So it just needs to... We've got another shoal here. I don't know if I can bring that over. Hopefully my Basilos takes care of it. Oh. Okay. I think that other Mega Chelon, it was only a level 25. It got involved. Oh dear. That one curled up a bit. So, off of the corpses of the Mega Chelon, they do drop. Oh. Is that a fish? I didn't want to hit it. I don't think I hit it. Um, but their shells drop shell fragment and you need that in order to craft the saddle amongst a mixture of other things so the only way you can make the saddle is to kill some of these as well i have harvested the shells but it was better to get off and do it with actually i can't remember if i did it with the hatchet or the pickaxe Ooh, is that a um lethictus seen one of them in the ocean before I'm not on the Genesis biome. Okay. Let's say we have got the rates turned up and it is only a 90. Oh, I don't head into the whirlpool. Looks like that other. Yeah. So we don't harvest any of the shell fragment if we use the dinosaur and it didn't look like there was any bags left over so you do have to get off with a hatchet or a pickaxe in order to do that to comment down below I can't remember which one was more You've there we go but again I got quite a bit okay we got ourselves an island Okay, so I've just made up the saddle and I'm just going to put it on him and get the Mega Chelon out. But I'm not going to build on the back at the moment because I'm told if you do put them in the cryopod, obviously you lose the base that you put on it. And I think what I want is to be able to put the water base down and then bring him out in the water base. So... 12,000 health to start off with, a little bit of melee, so it looks like it can take a bit and put a few levels in health, it'll be quite tanky. Attack maneuvers, well not, not much use out of the water, but it can move out of the water. And I'd say I think next week I'll experiment in with building on top of him and putting a little bit of a water base down. The water base won't be our main base, but I do need some sort of spawn area there and somewhere to keep some of my stuff. And that's about all the time I've got for this one. If you would like to join the community server, all the information is in my Discord. Just give me a shout on there and I'll add you to the group. We've also added the Ragnarok map. So those of you who haven't got the Genesis expansion yet, you're welcome to join now. And we've made it a cluster because there are a few of us sat around bored at the moment and just wanted to pick up Ark. So more than welcome to join us down there. And I think next time I'll have a go at building on the back of the Mega Chelon saddle. I have had a few screenshots from the server members there. I've seen some good ideas, so I've got an idea of what I'm going to do with that myself. And perhaps next time we'll build in the ocean biome as well. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.